Hi everyone and welcome back to the cross crafty yellow camper. Um, I'm going to apologise now. This is video three that I'm recording today and so far it's not gone well. So there's likely to be several mistakes in this video so gloss over. <laughs> okay right this is a quick card so hopefully I won't mess this up too much. Um, right so today I wanted to show you something else that coordinates with the greatest journey stamp set dies and um, papers and twine and these are the enjoy the adventure memories and more cards and envelopes so you get they're really good value I think for what they cost you get the envelopes um, they're all the same and they've got these cute stars printed on them or and then that um, that's your flap for your envelope and it's the same pattern in size so you get those and then you then get the note cards themselves so these come in two same design two colors so this is the sort of coastal cabanery one and this is the mango melody one um, and then they're plain white inside so really nice and easy for a quick card so I just wanted to show you those. And I can't actually remember what the price point is on those. Um, and I haven't got my catalogue to hand, but they're, I think they're under £10. Certainly not mega money for what you get. Um, oh, you want to know how many, won't you? So I've used one out of here already. So let's see how many we've got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 so that would lead me to believe there are 20 in there okay so I wanted to do a card that was a quick to put together card um, suitable for a man or a lady but the one thing that I really struggle with is men's cards um, unfortunately for me a lot of the men in my life aren't into whiskey or golf or football um, so it makes it quite difficult making a men's card. That's why the dies that come with this um, set are fantastic because I do have friends that go walking. I have um, friends, my son-in-law is a runner and then um, we mountain bike. So although this is more of a BMX, you can get away with it for mountain biking and we love nature. So my husband and um, my son love getting out in nature. Uh, and my son actually camps and there's a tent in there. So, um, yeah, so back to the quick card that's not turned out to be very quick. So this is our card base. So you literally just fold it in half um, and then you've got a white inside to write on um, and then you've got the front. So what I wanted to do for this was to show you how you can stamp on these card bases um, to turn them into something else. Okay, so I have pulled out my Greatest Journey stamp set, but I've also pulled out the Mountain Air stamp set, which is out of the annual catalogue. Um, and I've mounted up the mountain range. Now, these uh, the Mountain Air stamps are two-step stamps, so these are actually reversible. So this is the side that has sort of the detail of the mountains on it, um, but you can turn it over and stamp it that way to get a background colour and then put the detail in by flipping it over. But because we've got this lovely Mango Melody background colour here, what all I actually need is the detail. So I'm going to bring in my Mango Melody stamp pad and you might be sitting there thinking, well, it's already Mango Melody, so why is she using the same ink colour? I'm hoping, my fingers crossed, that it will show up darker. So I'm going to give it a good ink up with my ink pad and then I'm opening up the card so it's not bouncing around and this is a photopolymer stamp set so I've got my mat underneath it and I'm just going to stamp there. Give it a good press and a few minutes for the ink to saturate and hopefully you can see that so it does show up. And then what I'm going to do is I want a little bit behind. But, so I'm going to move my stamp up, but I'm not re-inking it. And I'm going to take it slightly off to the side. And so this is second generation stamping. Okay, and you can see you get that sort of shadow. Hopefully you can see that. That shadow effect. Sorry, my light is shining on my camera, so I'm having trouble seeing it. Um, you get that sort of shadow effect behind it. 
which is what I wanted. And then what I've done, I've gone ahead and I've stamped the trees, the fir trees, from the um, Greatest Journey, these ones here. And there is a die that cuts those out. So I've gone ahead and I've stamped those in garden green and I've cut those out for us. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to literally layer those trees up along the edge of the mountains. Um, and I am going to raise these up a little bit. So I'm just bringing in my edges of my dimensionals and my silicon scissors. And I'll just pop a couple onto the back of each one of those. Okay. that one actually that actually stamped not as well using a stamp mat than the other one did straight on my desk bizarrely must have had different pressure on it right and that's used up those edges quite nicely waste not want not okay and what we're going to do is just overlap this one and raise that up a little bit higher and then we've got our mountain range here now we've got this lovely twine that goes with this set so I wanted to use some of that so it comes in three colors you've got the um, mango melody garden green and the coastal cabana which are the three of the main colors in the papers and I think I can't decide whether to go for the mango melody or the garden green but while the jury's out on that I just want to add a few more bits and pieces to our um, our sky up here so I'm just going to grab my embossing buddy and some Versamark um, right. let's get the embossing buddy I'm just going to give that a wipe over on the card to take away any static Now there are dies in here for clouds that you could die cut. Um, where's the stamp set? Um, yeah. No, I wanted to do like a sunset actually. I'll take that, take that back. I'm not gonna use my embossing powder. I was going to, change my mind. Um, I think about these things before I do them and then I often change my mind when I'm actually making the card. So I was going to do some embossing on this card, but there isn't. There is a, a sort of a moon, um, but this is more of a sunset. So what we're going to do actually is bring in that the um, a stamp that I used for a moon in a previous video that's this one here and I used it with embossing powder and it did look very nice but I think what we'll do this time is we'll bring back in the mango melody and we've got a paler area up here so I think we'll have that as the setting sun that's it and then I feel like I just want to add in a little bit of more colour um sort of to the sunset so we've got the mountains um and we've got this sort of sunset here and this is slightly very slightly pinky here um and i know that that is um let me just have a quick look at the papers i'm pretty sure that's Ferti flamingo oh no actually it's not it's polished pink okay so let's just find my polished pink and um, we'll find a brush Sweet sorbet. Um, I've got a pile of brushes that haven't actually been washed yet just bring in a blending brush and now I'm throwing them on the floor I'm just going to bring in a blending brush and for this I will have to fold the card back in half and I just want to add a little bit of that um a little bit of that pinkiness in so i've just literally taken some off the brush and i'm just going to add a little bit more to that corner just 
just using one of our blending brushes just to give that a bit more of a sunset vibe over that corner yeah that's better happier with that now okay really need to clear my desk up stuff everywhere okay and then what we're going to do i think is bring in a little bit of this twine now do we want the green to match the garden green on the trees if i can find the end do we want the green or do we want the mango melody let's have a little look it's not good so what do you think do we want the mango melody or do we want the green i think we want the mango melody okay now ordinarily i would cut this and stick it at each end but obviously we can't do that because we haven't got a, a matte layer that's the whole point of trying to do a quick card so i'm just going to loop that round on the inside of the card we'll just bring that down a little bit there um and what we're going to do is just going to tie a knot, I think. <sighs> I always leave my cord on the roll until I've decided, cord, ribbon, whatever it is, until I've decided how long I want it. So I think we can shorten that up a little bit because we're just going to do a knot. Okay, that's it. Take that over the top there. Bring that up, back up here. Above the sun. I'll just do a little, a little knot. Now I haven't pulled that very tight, have I? So let's try that again. I always think when you're trying to do this kind of thing, you could, would benefit from a third finger. I'm not very good at tying knots around my finger, but let's have a go. Just hold that down. Oh, come on frayed a little bit when I unrolled it from the roll there we go I actually quite like it frayed if I'm honest let's just snip that off sharp pair of scissors is always helpful okay um yeah so I think I might actually I might cut that down a little bit more and fray that I think it's a little bit long so let's just cut that there and cut that there this time I have used my sharp scissors. Keep a separate pair of scissors for my um, for cutting ribbon and twine. That way I don't blunt blunt the blunt them cutting paper. I'm just going to unravel that a little bit at the end there, and on this piece too, just to make a little bit more of a feature of it. I think. I wonder if I bring my take your pick tool in. Yeah, that's easier. Use the pokey tool end to unravel it a little bit. Let's do that on this piece too. Just be careful not to scratch the card. There we go. So there's a very quick and simple card. We've just added a little bit of stamping onto it and some twine. Um, and then it's going to go into one of these really nice envelopes with the stars on and you could always stamp some mountains or something on there if you wanted to um, but I think that makes quite a quick and simple note card I think we're just under the 15 minutes for that so um, that's it for now um, and I will be back soon uh, with some more stamping for you I'll see you all soon thanks for watching happy stamping